What's up, guys? Welcome to MYF Mavuno Young and Fearless. My name is Kevin Kilonzi, aka Kev the Rev. I'm so glad to be having you guys on this second uh, uh, summon in this series. It's Christmas. And, and I've got issues. issues. Yes. And in this series, we're just learning some key lessons on how to cope with the issues of mental health as derived from the Christmas story. Now, here's a quick recap from last week. We're talking about virginity, yes, on one hand in terms of sexual purity, but then on the other hand in terms of the things that we are allowed to check into our life. Very clear mindset. We know what we want to be when you grow up. Then we start allowing things that spoil uh, the concept of virginity for us. We we, we allow uh, bitterness, you know, mm. from parents. We allow uh, a, a hangout here and a hangout there. That. This is just like a spiritual reality. Oops, sorry for that. Your life <laughs> yeah. is just totally, totally, totally... They are being mixed up. Uh, you're getting an, an exam here, an exam there. And then by the time you look at your life, you're like, there are so many things you've allowed in that is just completely spoiled. It's and so today, I'm joined by one Bato and uh, Shem again, uh, just as we dive deeper into, uh, into this conversation. So friends, welcome to this one today. Thank you. Thank you So for glad us. to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. So Shem, I, I, sorry, Bato, you were not here last week. What, what do you think about this conversation that you're having through this month? I was blown away. I think it's a very necessary conversation to be had, especially just coming from Mental Health um, Awareness Month. It's a mm. very necessary conversation. Mm. And the statistics, when I heard ab about them from uh -huh. Pastor Jem, they just blew me away. Mm. So can I repeat them for the benefit of those who aren't here? Kindly, please. Um, so statistic number one, suicide is the second leading cause of death among 15 to 29-year-olds. Mm. And over 800,000 people die by suicide every year. That's one death every 40 seconds. Mm -hmm. Scares me so much. I yeah. know. Yeah, 75% of suicides occur in low and middle income countries. So we're very vulnerable. Yeah. And also 75% of all suicides are by males. And there are more deaths from suicide than from war and homicide put together. Can I can't that? wrap my head around that. It's ridiculous. Crazy. Hard, oh my hard, gosh. hard, hard. Yep. Yeah. Mm. And I figure, I think, especially because of Christmas and festivities that happen, mm. the it's probably will spike up even higher because of issues like peer pressure. You know, mm. when you go to holidays and friends and family try to pressure you into taking alcohol and drugs because mm. that's what is deemed as fun. Mm. Yes. And even things like, for me, I suffer from social anxiety. So it's mm. just one of those things that you feel like going into a large gathering, like all your flaws are just put on display for wow. everybody to just mm. judge and mm. poke fun at because of comparisons. Families yeah. have a tendency to just keep on comparing. And also um, for me, I also lost my mom five years ago. Sorry. So family gatherings have always just been a thing for me because mm. that's where it becomes more evident that my mm. mom isn't there. Mm. And I'm sure it's the same for people who've lost parents or people um, whose parents have separated, you know. Mm. It's just one of those things that just make the mental health crisis just shoot up. Wow, really that's, that's quite something that it, it, it gets amplified through this season because right. of some of those things. We may not even see it, but yeah. in January, it just becomes a reality. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Also, uh, just to add on that, statistically, on the mm. flip side, mm. sometimes uh, the mental issues can actually go down mm -hmm. during uh, this holiday season because it's happy, happy, mm. happy mode mm. all, all around. But uh, we tend to forget that uh, now coming to the new year, they mm. just skyrocket mm. because yeah. whatever you did not deal with now comes back and you still have to deal with them. Mm. have to deal with it yeah. over and over again. Wow. Yep. What a great perspective, Shem. And so that's why at Mabuno Young and Fearless, we are not shying away from having this, Chris, uh, this conversation. That's why this series is titled, It's Christmas, But I've Got Issues. And you're taking a deeper look from the person of Mary, the mother of Jesus. And here's what you are saying. If Mary was living in our culture today, mm -hmm. chances are that her receiving this news could have just have put her into some spin, some mental health, yeah. uh, crazy issue uh, in that sense. Because... Imagine a 15-year-old, 15 15-year-old, 16, 17-year-old probably, that she receives news that she's going to give birth to, um, the to a saviour of, of the world. You know, I mean... Who's going to believe her? I mean, you know, like, and then an angel came up. Uh, and then guys have not been seeing angels for like, how many years? And yes, an angel yes. came up to you. I mean, that's crazy. Right. And then and then on top of that, her, when she's told you're going to give, when you're told you're going to give birth to the saviour of the world, your expectation go to another level. Mm. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, she's going to give birth on a donkey. All of a, I mean, riding on a donkey. All of a sudden, she goes there. There's no room for her in the inn. She has to give birth in a cow shed and all that. Yes. I mean, it's crazy. It could have easily put her in a, into a mental health spin. And so we said there are some things that Mary was. There's a way that she received the news. And there's a way she responded to the news that actually allowed her to have a, such a sober mindset uh, through this season that could easily have thrown her off cuff. Right. 
Right. And so we started last week by saying that one of the things that worked in Mary's favor was the fact that she was a virgin. And so if you haven't checked out that someone, kindly go to our YouTube link, I mean page, check it out. It's going to be an amazing uh, story for you to just connect with what you're talking about today. And so today we want to go a little bit deeper uh, and look at the second thing that we believe that Mary had, it, it helped Mary to actually maintain a sober mindset. And we're going to be reading from Luke chapter 1 verse 34 to 38 uh, as you get there let me give you a quick recap so basically at this point the angel has already appeared to mary uh, uh mary has already said hey how am i going to give birth because you know i'm a virgin and so the the, the holy uh, the, the the angel answers that and so we are picking up the story from that point but maybe you can read for us uh, luke 1 34 to 38 right, sure um luke 1 34 to 30, 38 and mary said to the angel how will this be since i'm a virgin and the angel answered her the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, also has conceived a son. And this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Oh, but that's why it is so amazing. Could you just read that part uh, again? Just repeat it. <laughs> Let it be to me according to your word. Wow. I believe that that's the second reason why Mary maintained a stable mindset through this season in her life. Right. Because of that statement right there. Yeah. Let it be to me according, according to your word. word. You see, Mary understood that as a young lady, there are many things she could allow to define her. But she came to that point and said, let it be to me according to my words. In other, uh, according to your word. In other words, let me be defined by what you say about me. Mm -hmm. What are some things that actually define young people in our culture today? Yeah. Um, one thing I've, I've, I've learned interacting with young people is that uh, sometimes the school they attend uh, mm. can actually define who they are. Yes. Yeah. Uh, an example, uh, I was talking to this uh, teen. She told me the other day she had uh, like a hangout with mm. some of her friends. Then she realized they actually went to better schools than she did. Mm. And that took her away. She felt like, actually don't belong with these people. Yeah. And she's yeah. been shy about that. Wow. Okay. Like. Like some people went to school, schools, schools you, you only schools, know, you know, like school of fish. <laughs> so anyway, I, I, what are some things that define young people? Like in the, in the age of social media, I think like, cause like Instagram and stuff, you have a tendency to keep comparing yourself to other people. So mm. a lot of the times we define ourselves through how we look mm. and our body shapes. Are we, cause like you watch Kim Kardashian every day and you realize just how out of shape you are. <laughs> <laughs> you have a shape. You have a just shape. Not it's just want. not a good one. <laughs> well, Any other thing? Uh, also, uh, parents' income mm. and where they stay, mm. what they own, mm. some of the things which make them one way feel like they are actually better than the others. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Or relationships. Sometimes if you've been out of a relationship for so long, you almost feel like you're not worthy. Like, you know, it's asking yourself, is something wrong with me? Like, why am I not in a relationship? All my friends are. Wow. Yeah, so. People living as though the goal of life is to be in a relationship. Right. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What's, yeah. what's the issue with those types of definitions defining someone it's because they're so superficial mm. you know they're very surface level there's no deepness to it and none of them are far more god's purposes for our lives are mm. Mm. you know so this is some of the things because it's very temporary they keep changing and they're seasonal um if we allow ourselves to get defined by those things we get to places where uh if they end uh, where we what we thought we were supposed to be versus where we are now like mm. we're almost left in the middle just being lost wow oh, yeah. what a what an amazing way to look at it because some of them are good you right. know they're actually good, good. things right. some things. probably even great yes. but they are not enough to anchor you uh in in terms of how what god designed for you mm. and so if you allow them to be your, your your definition you'll be tossed back and forth and i guess that's what results into some of this mental right yeah exactly wow exactly. wow yeah. Hey guys, welcome. This is why we are having this conversation today. I don't know the state you are in. I don't know where you are at this point, but I believe this conversation that you're going to have today is just going to anchor you even further. Mary's statement was quite deep. Mary says, let it be to me according to your word. Somehow Mary had the fortitude to know that she could put her weight behind uh, God's definition of her. Somehow she could be able to uh, uh, believe and say, God, if this is what you've said, I'll take it to the bank. Mm -hmm. I'll live according to your word for me. Amen. Let me ask, when you think about it, uh, mm. when it comes to Mary's situation, mm. an angel came to her. 
by default, if an angel came to you, you'll be game. <laughs> Where is the angel today? Yeah. Uh, ask, where is the angel today? Yeah, that's a good question. Eh? Yeah, Mary, Mary is an angel. Sissy, yes. you know, who's talking to us. Right. Uh, but but two things to, to, to consider or to note even about that story. Eh? Number one, the angel only came to Mary one time and spoke to her. And then okay. watch what the angel said versus Mary's reality. She had to take it by faith. Mm. Because yeah. you can imagine you've been told you're going to give give birth to the Savior of the world. The Holy Spirit is going to come upon you. Uh, the Holy One to be born, you'll be called the child of God. And then all of a sudden, there's no Uber to take you to give birth. Uh, nope. All of a sudden, you go, you're expecting a five-star there's, hotel. There's no Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're expecting a five-star five, five hotel. Seven. You get the stars, but it's been a cow shed. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. Like, uh, okay, open skies. Anyway, oh, like a million star hotel and you're like, come on, God, like, where are you? So somehow Mary still had to take the angel's word by faith. And that's what we live by. We live by faith. But then number two, um, I think we have a better deal even. Uh, you see, an angel came to Mary and gave her a report from God. But the Bible tells us this, and this is, this is important. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 7, the Bible says this, I have come in the volume of the book. That's wow. Jesus speaking. Wow. That when you pick up the Bible, man, I'm in the volume. I'm in this thing. When you read the scriptures, it's me from Genesis mm. to Revelation. It's me all through. And so we have a better deal because we have the tangible word of God. And more than that, we have the Holy Spirit for all of us who are born again. The Holy Spirit is in us, who is able to teach us, he's able to remind us, he's able to help us to understand what you are reading here. Mm-hmm. And so it's not just an angel, it's the word. Who's the word? Jesus himself yeah. mm-hmm. is in the volume of the book. Amen. Somehow, Amen. if we choose to live by what this book says, if we choose to live by what God's word defines us as, we are at a better deal than even what Mary had at her time. Yeah. 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 So that's why uh, the reason why these... God's word says mm. it says it's active. The Bible says that God's word is active and living. Come then on. it's just mere words written by old people who are in, out of touch with reality. Yes. It's here and now. Exactly. We can actually depend on it. You, you and I can depend on life. it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly what you've said. It's living, it's active. active. So if you're going through a, a situation today, there's a word for, for you. Right. There's yeah. there's a revelation for you. Mm. And so it's not old people 2000 years ago, 1000 mm. years ago. It's actually it's today's word. It's 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 for you here mm. and now. Mm. And 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 th- there's a particular passage of that I'd like us to watch. I mean to read rather mm. so that it's not just words we are saying but there's a practical application for us today. Yeah. Uh, uh, Psalms chapter 19 verse 7 to 9. I want us to look at what does God's God's word say it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's 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 something. What does God's word? Why should we be able How to put our hope? Does he define himself? Exactly, especially when it comes to mental health. Mm. C- could you just read it for us, Bato? All right. So Psalms nineteen seventy nine. Yep. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing to the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. Mm-hmm. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. Mm. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The decrees of the Lord are firm, and all of them are righteous. Wow. Look at that. Some of this, the writer of the psalm is inviting us to the treasures found in God's word. Yeah. Yes. And, and, now, and, and I know we just read through, but I want us to read each verse now mm. a little bit more intentionally okay. so that you can actually ask yourself, what is actually God's word saying about itself? Mm. Could you just read again more intentionally now, just one verse at a time? All right. Yeah. So let's start with verse seven. Yep. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. What does perfect mean? Complete. Complete. Without blemish. Without Thank blemish. You. Oh, come on. Mm. It does not need any addition. Mm. Mm. It's like I woke up like this sort of deal. (laughs) (laughs) And because of that, the Bible says it revives the soul. It refreshes the soul. Mm. Uh, um, The the reason why we are having a conversation on mental health Mm. is the truth is we want our souls refreshed. Mm. Yes, That's That's the whole crux about mental health. There's a refreshing needed in the soul. Now, Last week, we talked about how we start life and then the things we allow into our lives, they taint us. We end up looking at ourselves and wondering what's happening. This is what God is recommending. eh? Mm -hmm. He's saying, hey, it's a verse a day. It's a verse a day. day. It's it's a verse. Oh, come on. Oh, 
I'll provide for you according to my riches in glory. Wow. It's uh, those who love the Lord shall be strong and do exploits. Amen. It's, um, you know, it's a verse a day. It's, you know, I, I'm forgetting the verses right now, <laughs> but I need them. <laughs> and so as you go through God's word, look at that. It's oh, come on, man. Oh, look at goodness. that. Look at that. You are going through word at, wow. at a time. You are going through a, you are going through a verse at a time. And before you know it, someone asks, where did all the mess go? Mm-hmm. Yeah. After where, new God, something changed. Oh, I think that's the whole aspect. That's the whole aspect. The yeah. old is gone, the new has come. Amen. Yes. Amen. Oh, Amen. Look at that. And so, and so God's word is both curative, but also it's preventive. Amen. Mm-hmm. Maybe you are the first glass. Your life has gone through such mess. It's okay. This word is for you. Mm. Go through it and see the refreshing. But it's also preventive in terms of you are able to prevent yourself from being tainted by the issues of this world Putting by continually God's. being refreshed Amen. by God's Amen. word. Come on, man. Amen. Come on, Amen. man. Amen. Oh, second verse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, mm. making wise the simple. Isn't that amazing? There are so many things we cannot trust yeah. in our culture today. Yeah. But yeah. some of the world, Bible is telling us the statutes of the Lord are trustworthy. Mm. You may not be able to trust your neighbor, your uncles, your aunties, your friends. But this word, okay. oh man, you can you can put your trust in it. Mm-hmm. And when it says making wise the simple, it's because when you do what it says, you may look simplistic. Mm. Yes. When the Bible says, uh, 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 do this and do that, you may look simplistic. But when you do it, you are later on proven to be wise. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because the word proves itself to you. Amen. When it yeah. says... Uh, uh, um, uh, you know, godliness with contentment is great, ga- great gain. Yeah. When you live according to that, later on people look at you and say, "Wow, it was actually true." Wow. We didn't. Some people may not have done it, but when they look at your life, the thing comes a full circle. Next verse. Amen. Mm. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. Mm-hmm. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. About that for. Just poetry, man. man. Oh. Poetry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, God's word is reminding us there's some words we don't use to describe God's word. Mm. Yeah. Yet God's word is using them to describe it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, have you ever been like, God's word is light and giving mm-hmm. joy to the heart, uh, radiant, Fred. giving light to the eyes. How about that for clarity, for focus, for Amen. direction, Amen. for, you know, just a way to live your life. Yeah. And with mental health, it just brings us to a place of darkness. Mm. And the word of God is telling yes. us that it gives light mm. to light that which that has darkness. darkness. Wow. Love that. Wow. I love that. Verse nine. Um, every one of the Lord's commands is right. Following them brings cheer. Nothing he says ever needs to be changed. Wow. wow. You can you can you can no use this to, to anchor your life. Mm. You can use this to steer your life. Because God's word somehow is unchanging. It's 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 foundational yeah. uh, in that sense. Yeah. And that's why I'm convicted that Mary was on the right path to just mental wellness because she came to that point and said, I don't have all the details. Mm-hmm. I don't have all the comprehension that I need to have. I don't know how everything will be put together, but here's the deal. Let it be to me according, according to your word. word. And right there and then, Mary was on a different path than any other person in her culture. Amen. Wow. Amen. Mm-hmm. Wow. From your explanation, uh, mm. we can actually all of us agree that God's word, this joy, brings mm. joy, this cheer, mm. this, this radiance which comes with knowing God through mm. his word. Mm. But as a young man, as a young people, how can I make this practical for myself? Wow. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so we, we, it's not just about talking about God's word and living. You need to be able then to get into the scriptures and read God's word. Okay. And many people are wondering, so how do I practically do that, do that right? Yeah. And so I have two simple options. Uh, the first one is you you have a Bible app. Most of us have a phone. Yes. So I have a Bible app called the version. Yes. Now, the version is... is it's sweet. I'm, I'm, I don't work for you, version. Anyway, <laughs> I don't sponsored. know the guys. I'm not sponsoring. <laughs> it's not a sponsored ad. It's not product placement and all those things. But it somehow allows you to be able to choose business. I mean, not uh, business plans. Allows you to choose reading plans. Mm-hmm. Allows you to have people you can go through the reading plan together. Mm-hmm. Allows you to bookmark. You can actually bookmark certain verses. You can take notes on those verses. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it's, it allows you just a whole myriad of things you are, that you are able to do. And then later on, here's the deal. When you finally go to your phone, you have an option of Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, 
or the Bible app. Mm-hmm. And then you can choose every day. I'm going to spend some considerable time or um, amount of time on the Bible app. Mm-hmm. There's something I've been doing of late because I've been having many years of just, you know, bookmarking and writing. So of late, I've been going through my bookmarks and mm-hmm. I'm like, wow, how did I learn that? Yeah. And so it's refreshing. It's refreshing me as, as I go along. So number one, you can use technology, but maybe... Uh, you don't have that and yeah, or you feel have. it's not biblical enough you know like <laughs> you know like i know <laughs> moses Once broke the tablet the <laughs> <laughs> but okay. uh, yeah okay. you're like okay. you know it doesn't work so another easy one you know most of us do this eh? you wake up and say god i want to read your work Open and then book. you do this ha ah, god wants me to read proverbs chapter 15 no you just landed there so <laughs> Now, God is still able to speak through that, but yeah, so you can have a systematic way of reading. Yeah. So one of the easiest, way, one of the best ways is to actually choose a book mm-hmm. and say, in this season, I just feel like, you know, I want to read through the book of John. Right. Yeah. So choose the book of John and say, and then what you do is that every day, just come and read the whole chapter or maybe a story within the book of John. Mm-hmm. So the first thing you do is read through. Mm-hmm. Then the second thing, part is you read but this time you are underlining or you are writing down because you have a journal right yeah. you are writing down verses that are speaking to you or phrases that are speaking to you or words that are speaking out to you right. and then after that you now come to the, what you wrote down the words that spoke up to you yeah. and then start interacting a little bit more with them god why, is, why did this word speak up to me because there were other words but why did this one speak up to me why did this verse jump out at me and as you interact with that god begins to speak to you now some of it could be burning bush moment like wow god spoke some of it could be like nothing but it's okay yeah. god's word is living and active you may mm-hmm. not get it now but with time you come back and be like mm-hmm. oh it makes sense Amen. i Amen. can be able to connect the dots backwards mm-hmm. and then after that don't just leave and say well good job and bounce but be able to say god what do you want me to do today what do you want me to do this week your mm-hmm. bible is saying here forgive 70 times 7 who are you why need to forgive today uh, and so the word becomes living and active because you are actually applying it yeah, in it your practical. own life right. yep okay. yep just mm. to add uh, on top of that um, mm. i can actually attest to that mm. uh, going through the word and if you include someone Mm. I remember during the isolation period we had people uh guys from from our church the young people just going we were going through the book of proverbs yep. and every day people will share what they've re- read in the chapter yeah and it was amazing yes yeah. it was amazing yes. yeah. yeah so pick a book ask your friends to pick the same book and go through it yes when you meet just say hey what stood out for you and then after that eat pizza have fun <laughs> yeah. somehow god is able to speak through that right yeah So for today's reflection we're going to do something a little bit different. Mm. We're going to go into the mind of God because the word of God is the mind of God. Mm. So let's read Psalms 19 79 from three from different three different versions mm. just so we can understand the mind of God what he says about his word. Mm. And then from that we can um just find out what what is God talking to you right now. What is he saying to you? Mm. Just reflect on his word and just soak in So can every single aspect of this word to just find out what it's he's trying to say to you. Psalms 19 verse 7 to 9. Um I'll start with the passion translation. Verse 7. God's word is perfect in every way. How it revives our souls. His laws lead us to truth and his ways change the simple into wise. His teachings make us joyful and radiant and radiate his light. His precepts are pure. His commands how they challenge us to keep to keep close to his heart. The revelation light to his word makes my spirit shine radiant. Verse 9. Every one of every one of the Lord's commands is right. Following them brings cheer. Nothing he says ever needs to be changed. Wow. The ra- the rarest treasures of life are found in his truth. That's why I prize God's word like other prizes, like the like other prize, the finest like others prize the finest gold. Let me repeat that. The rarest treasures of life are found in his truth. That's why I pri- I prize God's word like others prize the finest gold. Nothing brings the soul such sweetness as seeking his living mm. words. Amen. 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 
from the message version. It says, The revelation of God is whole and pulls our lives together. The signposts of God are clear and point out the right road. The life maps of God are right, showing the way to joy. The directions of God are plain and easy on the eyes. God's reputation is 24 karat gold with a lifetime guarantee. The decisions of God are accurate down to the nth degree. God's word is better than a diamond, better than a diamond set between emeralds. You like it better than strawberries in the spring. You like it better than red, ripe strawberries. Is the amplified version. The law of the Lord is perfect, flawless, restoring and refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are reliable and trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, bringing joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true. They are righteous altogether. They are more durable than gold. Yes, much more than fine gold. Sweeter also than the honey and the drippings of the honeycomb. I don't know what you are hearing God's word defining itself as. But I want to invite you as you get into the end of this year and as you begin next year, could you get into a season of allowing God's word to go through? There's a refreshing that the God's words bring. There's a, there's a guaranteed mental wellness in God's word. I wish I would tell you there are many other ways, but it's really just narrowed down to this. That if you go through God's word, then he's able to refresh you. But I'll also tell you this. There's a space for you to open up your heart and your life to allow Christ to come in so that he can deal with some specific issues in your life. To allow you to see light in the darkness in your life. Would you allow yourself to come to the space of saying, I want to receive Christ into my heart. If you're one of those, you can repeat these words. We believe that if you say these words and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord and that God raised him from the dead, then you are saved. That's what the Bible says. So say, Lord Jesus, I accept you. I know that you died and rose again for me. Welcome into my heart. Change me from within. Allow me to see why you created me and help me to live my life for your sake. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you made that prayer, or if you know, uh, if you made that prayer, Kitambo, but you've renewed it today, we'd like to walk with you. We have our pastors who are ready to pray with you, who are ready to walk with you. And so DM us in any of our platforms and someone will get back to you and pray with you. Thank you guys. This is Mavuno Young and Fearless. You rock. Thank you so much for tuning into our service. Wasn't that so amazing and impactful? If you're watching this live and you'd love to hang out with us more and just generally have a good time, follow the link down below and we'd love to see you there.